First things first, do not snooze that alarm. Make some time for you first thing. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my tips on how to get out of a negative space. I've been feeling a bit negative this week. I think with the change of season, I am a summer gal and I just don't vibe with cold, dark mornings and evenings. I find it a lot harder to stay motivated and positive. If you're feeling the same or if you're just feeling stuck in a negative space, then please watch. I hope I can help by sharing what helps me. First things first, do not snooze that alarm. Make some time for you first thing. It feels amazing in the moment to snooze that alarm, particularly when you're feeling tired and unmotivated and you're just not looking forward to the day. But this is the most important time of the day to make time for you and to start your day right. So either set your alarm a little bit earlier, it can be half an hour earlier, or just get up when the alarm goes off and just try this out. I will wake up and drink some water, brush my teeth, and then get back into bed. You probably weren't expecting that, but hear me out. Most of us reach for our phones first thing, where we are bombarded with messages, news, and emails. As you can imagine, receiving so much information first thing isn't great for our mind or body. So I find reading a book instead helps me wake up in a calm way and I really look forward to it. Once I've read for a bit, I will continue to freshen up and then I will come into here and either do 10 or 15 minutes of yoga, stretch out my body, or I'll go straight outside for a walk. Uh, I find that's a really great start to the day because you're getting some fresh air and some light and you're telling your body it's time to wake up, let's go. I'll go into the kitchen next and make myself a coffee. Coffee is one of my little pleasures in life. A good cup of coffee, it's, yeah, it's just one of my favourite things. Sometimes if I'm feeling extra inspired, I will make myself a smoothie too. I find when you make a smoothie, that's such a good start to the day because you feel healthy and like you've got your life together. And what I'll do is take my coffee, my water and my smoothie over to my journal and I will journal. I'm one of those people that will keep myself up at night thinking about things I need to do or haven't done that day. So to journal first thing, just feels like a weight lifted because I'll write down things on my mind. It's nice to tape them out here and put them onto paper. I find it definitely helps my anxiety and anything I'm stressing about. Secondly, I will do some gratitude in my journal. So I'll write three things that I'm grateful for, which basically just helps me be a glass half full kind of person. I used to be a glass half empty kind of person, but by doing daily gratitude, I can find the positives a lot quicker and easier. I think that's particularly important when you're in a negative space because, yeah, training your brain to find the positives in just small moments of the day, oh, it's just, it's really magic. Small positives in the day can be really small. Like, I often write that I'm grateful for the sun shining, I'm grateful for the sound of the birds, like just little things that make you happy. The other useful thing about journaling is you can write down things that you need to accomplish that day. I find when I'm in a negative space, I will procrastinate a lot more. So to have stuff written down that I need to do, um, it just helps me actually get on with those things. If you don't have a journal, treat yourself to a nice vegan journal. Mine is from Mal Paper. Moving on to my second tip nourishment when you're in a negative space it is extra important to nourish yourself a hot topic right now is the gut and how it's linked to the brain and our gut is constantly talking to our brain and our brain is constantly talking to our gut so when you eat healthy it's not just impacting your physical health it is impacting your mental health because in our gut we have the gut microbes they are living things as 
I think like trillions of them. If you're not feeding them the right things, they are not going to be happy with you and they are going to be sending some negative messages to your brain. So when I'm in a negative space, I find it the most important time to nourish myself and eat lots of vegetables, whole foods, legumes. This doesn't mean just eat salad, you can make some really delicious food. You might not feel like nourishing yourself when you're in a negative space. You probably will want to be opting for a takeaway and anything that requires minimal effort, but if you can bring yourself to do a nice food shop, treat yourself to some good food and get in there. Cooking is also a great way to reduce your screen time, which leads me on to my third tip, which is reduce your screen time. To link the two, cooking is a great way to put your phone down and focus on something else. I find when I'm in a negative space, I am glued to my phone a lot more than usual. I will scroll and scroll and scroll. And I never feel better for it, I always feel worse. Uh, I don't know why I do it. I think it's just numbing, we're numbing our brains when we do it. It takes our mind off of reality. If you can, get in the kitchen, spend an hour making a cake or making a delicious dinner instead of spending an hour or two watching a film and scrolling on your phone. If you don't want to cook, then maybe read a book, maybe dance, maybe listen to some music, play some music, basically anything that lights you up that does not involve screens. There's got to be something. Knitting is popular at the moment. I think the one good thing about our phones and screens is that we are a click away from our friends and family and that leads me on to my fourth tip which is reach out to your loved ones. It's so easy to hide away because you don't want people to see you like this or you don't want to share your negative vibes with your loved ones but when people love you they want to be there for you and you don't always have to tell them exactly how you're feeling although if you can that's great but just reach out drop them a message or a voice note try and meet up go for a walk with them or a coffee i find speaking to my friends they always remind me of the bigger picture they always remind me that it's my negative brain telling me that I can't do this or I shouldn't do this or yeah it's just a bit of a reality check I think speaking to someone else and if you don't have someone to speak to then please message me and we can chat. I can't believe I forgot this one because it's my absolute favourite thing, nature. Getting out in nature is so important for our mental health and if we're feeling stuck in a negative space that's the most important time to go out into nature. I notice such a difference when I go out into nature. It really does change my mood. They studied patients in hospitals and patients who had a view of nature healed quicker than those who didn't. And they also tested out pictures of nature. So if they didn't have a view of nature, at least a picture of nature helped as well. So that just shows how important nature is for our well-being. I'm sorry I forgot that one so important. Get outside if you can or sit and stare at pictures of nature. Those are my main tips. If I haven't included ones that you find really help you then please do tell me in the comments because I'm always keen to learn more tips. And thank you so much for watching. I'm sending you lots of positive vibes and love.